Right, welcome to our channel. We're going to make science fun. T. I'm T. I'm Z. And we're going to make science fun. We can do yeah. Styling no. Listen, but got pictures with me smiling no. Sure. All the things you need. <laughs> right, it's a required practical. It's one of the. Uh... Are you my left Oh, this one here. Try Okay, right, so, I'm hydrates. <laughs> Uh, T, you're, you're a personal trainer. Uh, yeah, yeah. So what's what carbohydrates? What's going on with carbohydrates? Um, contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Wow, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm impressed. Yep. I'm really interested. Really, yeah. <laughs> right, simple sugars. Okay, small chains of um, uh, glucose, and then you've got complex carbohydrates, uh, which we've got is uh, starch. Okay, right. So, got all our kit here. We prepared it earlier on. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing um, for starch. And the first thing what we're going to be doing is testing uh, bread. Now, T, I'm going to ask you the question, put the question, what do you think is going to happen and what do you think we need for in order to test for starch? Do you know, you know clue? Yeah, uh, we definitely need um, bread. Yeah, because I'm holding up. Yeah, um, we need some iodine. Yeah? Okay, what colour is iodine normally? Colourless brown. Colourless brown. <laughs> brown. <laughs> brown. 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 Brown colour. We'll have a look at that in a minute. When we'll I do that. So you want to do this or you want me to do it? No, let's do this. I'm ready. What are you sure? Yeah. Are you ready? Right. So you open that up. Actually, I'll open it up for you. You might struggle with it. Thanks. If you do get in, so someone in hand, just wash it off. It's fine. You've got a sink. Just use to wash it off. Right. Here we are. There's a pipette. Iodine. Pipette. Bread. Drop. Oh, blue. Put a bit more. What does that mean? A bit more. The school's got enough money, you know. You don't have to be that tight. So what's going on there? It's changing colour. Right, what's it going to? Dark blue. Right, okay, right. So you start, yeah, it's like a dark blue black, isn't it? Okay, so what's that suggesting to me? Uh, there must be starch in there. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I think so. Spot. Yeah, brilliant. That's it. Done. Okay, sweet. Testing for starch. There we are. There's a whole load there for you. So grab some starch solution out of here, put it into. A test tube, and then just squirt some iodine in there and see what colour it goes. Any more? Yeah, go with it. Fill it about halfway. Right. Cool. It's so easy to clean up after yourselves once you've done the practical. I know how, how you are with cleaning, you leave your mess around, put it on the, on, on the chairs, on the floor, yeah, so make sure you do that please. And you as well. Okay, right, yeah, so, really? ID solution in there, go for it. How much? Just put a few drops in there, a few more, a few more. Right, let's have a look, what colour is it going? Dark, dark blue, dark blue, dark blue. Black, isn't it? Yeah. Right, brilliant, so, this is showing me here, what they're showing me here is, is starch is present because it's got um, like a blacky blue colour. Brilliant, so that is your test for starch. Brilliant. So we're going to move on to the next one. Again, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be testing for sugar. Okay, there's two ways we can do that. Um, again, so like I said to you, carbohydrates, but it's a smaller unit. Okay, so it's simple sugars. So most probably glucose we're testing for. Now there's two samples we've got here. There's a cake. You love your cake. Love it. Okay, and then we've also got um, sugar solution. What we're gonna do is probably, um, we're gonna prepare this. We might use it, we might not use it, but we will use the sugar solution. Um, and yeah, let's see what happens from there. What we are gonna be also gonna be using something called, what does that say? Benedict. Yeah, Benedict's Benedict solution. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. It's, it's like a bluey type of solution, and that's what we're going to be using. Okay, right, let's prepare the sample then, T. Um, cake in here, bit of distilled water, pestle and water, off you go, grind it. Put, little, put that one bit in there, big bit. Big bit? Yeah. Doing that, I can get the other thing sorted. 
So I am putting the starch solution into my test tube. Okay, and we are gonna be looking for that. So T, what do you think? What color do you think is gonna go if glucose is present in these foods? I mean, if I was gonna guess, probably red. Yeah, yeah, good guess actually. Sweet. Orangey red, like a brick yeah. red type of color. Yeah, <laughs> You know you're You're chatting. <laughs> okay, right, so, got that sorted out. Right, so what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna get you, normally what you can do, you can either filter this, uh, I don't know if we've got any filter paper here, but we can normally filter this, but also we can test it um, with some solution here, which is some um, sugar solution here. So we can do both. So what I'm gonna get you to do mm -hmm. is, you're gonna pour that in there at some point. Okay, now, another thing that we're gonna be doing, do that. Okay, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using um, some hot water, and we're gonna leave that in there, and then we're gonna add some benedict solution into um, start, um, the sugar solution here. So, what I'm gonna do here is, I've got some benedict solution. Okay, let's add that in there. Add a little bit in there. Yeah, you can do it yourself. Right. Because I can't bother. Teaches his days. <laughs> okay, right, so my solution's ready. And so is mine. Is yours ready as well? Yep. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, is if you can pass me that beaker there, we're gonna add some hot water, hopefully the kettle should be boiled. Okay, and then we'll see what we get. Okay, right, the colour should go. Orangey red brick red type colour, okay, if um, glucose is present. Have you not bought the cow? Yeah. <laughs> right, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do this next bit, and we're gonna leave it, and then we're gonna move on to uh, proteins, and then we'll come back to it, just to show you some results. Okay, right, so, Going back to our results, see what you find out. What happened to the other test tube? You dropped it, didn't you? Nah. Yeah, you did drop it, didn't you? Yeah, he's basically what he's done is he's dropped the uh, the other test tube. Okay, but what do you see here then? What did we say? Pre glucose present, isn't it? Yeah. What colour did it go? What colour is it gone? Orangey. Reddish. Wow, wonderful. Okay, orangey, normally brick red. Okay, or brick orange, and that shows me glucose is present in the muffin. Okay, right, <laughs> next test we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be testing for proteins. Uh, T, proteins, what's it made from? Huh? What are they? I don't know what they are. What are oh, they? like, they give you gains so you have one after workout. No, we're not talking about fitness. Oh. We're talking about what's the chain made out of? It's a long chain of amino acids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Okay, yeah, yeah, got yeah, that yeah, one, yeah, 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 Okay, yeah. so it's a long chain of amino acids, and this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be testing for uh, protein using some of the solutions here. Again, same thing as before. What we've got, we've got protein solution, which I'm gonna probably add in. Okay, got some cheese. Hmm, I, I don't mind a bit of cheese. No, stop yeah? it. You don't need cheese. <laughs> <laughs> right, again, I'm gonna put some cheese in there. You know what, I'll get you back for that. Right, so we're gonna add some cheese in there. Okay, and then well, again, same process as before. We're gonna add some distilled water into the cheese. We're gonna make a little paste or a mixture, and then we're gonna add one to the test tube. So if you wanna do that for me. Wonderful. While he's doing that, okay, uh, what we're gonna be using is, we're gonna be using something called a biret solution. Okay, now this contains copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide, all in one. Okay, and we're gonna be adding that into the two solutions that we're gonna make, okay? That's not a bad job, you know. I need a... Um, what? What's it called? Fla um, funnel. That's the one. You know what? We ain't got them. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> of course we don't. <laughs> so what you'll have to do, use a pipette and just put it in there. Okay, right, so, test tube. Protein solution. I don't know what is on. Let's just give them to us. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Protein in there, okay, and then 
Okay. Can I also just point out one thing, please? Um, students get mixed up with the two solutions because they're both blue. So the previous solution that we did was the Benedict solution um, and the Biorate solution. They're both blue and students get so confused with this in exam questions. Um, they just mix them up. Uh, Biorate solution is for proteins and Benedict's is for uh, testing for glucose. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few drops of this. Okay, and I've got a rubber bun. Okay, I'm just going to see what happens. What colour do you think it will go? Uh, what, purple? Yeah, good, good call. I don't know about my one. It ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Oh, it's staying blue. I don't know if it's pretty. It does say protein solution in there, by the way. Look. And you know what? I'll try. I'll try. I think yours would probably work better because it's actually from a food source. Does it look purple? It looks purple. Ish. Yeah. Blue ish. Right, okay. Okay, right, so just going to give this a quick shake. It's getting there. Okay, looks like a bit of a purpley solution to you, yeah? Yeah, good. Okay, right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna do the same now. Yeah. You got those. Oh man, I forgot all about them, didn't I? Just like my students, eh? I forgot, you know, they forget about goggles, I forgot about goggles. Okay, I know they're murky. Can't really see much from them, but I still need to start putting them back on. Right, cool. Right, thank you for that, T. Okay, so you're adding the Benedict solution in there? Yep. Okay. Close it up, give it a little shake. <laughs> right, you're dancing a lot. Yeah, oh, shake, shake, shake. So, yeah, so I'm shaking it. Yeah, cool. Um. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good actually. Look at that, compared to that. So that's settled a bit. Changing uh, to a purple colour um, shows us that protein is present in both of them. So what we used is again protein solution and also we use cheese which also contains protein. Right, so that's your test for proteins. We're going to move on to the next one which is our last one on lipids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a... Oh, too much but there we are. And then we're going to go with oil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you here. It's not the actual practical but I'm going to show you water and oil do not mix. Okay, I'm going to notice there is, as you can see from here, okay, the oil sits on top. Even if I put a bun on this, wonderful, I'm going to shake it, let's see if it mixes. Eventually what will happen is, they will separate again, so the water and oil do not mix. Okay, I'm going to leave that in there for a little while. And what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the test for lipids. And what we're going to do is this, instead of using water, what we're going to use is we're going to use ethanol. Grab some oil, add some oil in there please for me. Make sure you get in the test room on the side, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that should be enough. Okay, you've got ethanol there, another test, uh, another pipette. Add a bit more. Okay, give it a quick shake, and then what we'll do is we'll add a bit of nash, and not give it a shake. Um, yeah, give, yeah, just add some water in there if you want, and then see if it mixes. If it goes cloudy, if it stays cloudy, um, lipids are present. Ooh. Yeah, shake it. Okay, right, so that's gone cloudy. Uh, whereas you can see this one here become, is actually not cloudy at all. You can see eventually what will happen is the, the water and the, the oil will separate again. And whereas this one has gone cloudy, so that suggests to me that um, yeah, lipids are present. Wonderful. Thanks for watching. Uh, that was a food test, a required practice for biology. Don't forget, please, to subscribe below. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hey. What? What? Hey. 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 Hey, you stay down I'll drop the first and you come up. I ain't coming down there. You said tea, you said tea for it. 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 You said tea for it.
My name's Z. I'm gonna. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. You know what? Trust me, this video is 